dads i feel they are more risk taking moms they really protect it nikaona hii wazazi wako shule na mimi i cried primary high school i was still doing business in in primary i sold newspapers i sold newspapers at primary yeah. to who we also worked with companies and being companies on board now that you can't offer these services you not know, bring companies on board yeah. um, i hope uh, it's the prayers of the deputy president's wife is it's idea <laughs> we have a formula one business we yeah. sell much equity is expanding across africa growing their profits great management Welcome Clarence Muhoro of uh, Young Investors Africa to the show and uh, we are we have a very interesting conversation ahead we'll talk about investment we'll talk about finance we'll talk about it's actually very interesting you that you made money at a very young age so I'm sure a lot of you guys will want to hear this so let's take it on so thank you very much mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here at Who Owns Kenya uh, my name is Clarence Muhoro I'm a Christian an entrepreneur and an investor and so um i really enjoyed learning and just being part of business and also trying it bu trying business experimenting succeeding failing doing investments from a young age and seeing it grow mm -hmm. and now seeing people young people do that the same thing and seeing them grow so i'm really happy to be here you're really happy to be here yes yeah by the looks of it you Konaka kit you look really nice. Right? <laughs> well, you have to dress to kill. You have to dress to kill mm, and your dressing uh, gives perception. Mm. You so, have to dress the impression. Mm, no, you dress good, you feel yeah. good and when you feel good you can yeah. now hustle well yeah. and then now if I was supposed to charge you 10k and as a quick care that thing just yeah. because I'm looking good would have poor psychologically <laughs> <laughs> affected, you know? Yeah. yeah, but it's very important. Yeah. I feel like what makes you feel good? For me when I'm at home I like wearing sweatpants. Mm. You know I like wearing pajamas even when I'm working when I'm working from home. Mm. But what makes you feel comfortable near people when you're going for a meeting for finance we usually have to wear ties. Mm. If you're a tech guy and go to a meeting kawe wali suit wata. Hapa kuna shida kiasi. You want someone who's upbeat jeans kidogo yeah. kidogo pale. Mm. Yeah so I feel like your dressing really implies what you're going for and mm. just embody your own kind of design and mm. yeah. Okay so when I first came across your story mm. it was really it was really intriguing because you started investing at a very young age yeah like chamas with your with your family well, family members and friends right yes yeah because it's like everybody's dream nowadays to make money when you're young and uh, like if you walked out uh, out uh, if you walked out there and ask anybody what do you want I want to be very rich at a young age mm -hmm. so how did you do it like what was the inspiration behind it yes so I look at wealth in different kinds of ways yeah. and I believe that Badal Jafika we have so many dreams and so many goals yeah. but you're grateful for where you've reached. Yeah. Um the journey started from a very young age and we had a chum of friends yeah. and we used to save together. And that's the power of saving together. You're like sweet our parents are saving and investing together. See so we do that. Yeah. So we were raised together as a group this group of friends, yeah. ten families so we are like 15 of us. We were saving each and every even we had nothing to do. Yeah. Every month turned bob and so and as you see sometimes yeah. you save not for today but for an opportunity that will come tomorrow because yeah. yeah, here hey boss yeah let, let's say your, your friend tells you they kuna trick ya kwenda US yeah. 5000 pk it's being discounted and then because yeah. it is a what ni kwa 2000 sio kwa ni save but the reason being is you save for future opportunities yeah. so i went to university i was just going to university and i was doing finance i love math yeah. and uh, i learned about investments and I learned about Warren Buffett. I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh, Kiyosaki. Yes. Yeah. Best book. There's a chapter called The Rich Grant Money. It can be fungua kili sana. So I told my friends, guys, yeah. we need to invest. So I was going through the company company's annual reports. I was going through apps to learn about investments. So I told them, guys, yeah. we need to buy Safaricom. And yeah. and um okay, so okay, sawa, sawa basi. Yeah. So we took our savings and we bought for the first time and um me and my bro had some coins just in a saving 20 bob 10 bob yeah like over the year there's about in yeah. 500 he had raised about in 200 yeah. he learned to buy his his company uh, shares in his company he needed about 2700 yeah. only to buy 100 shares so we yeah. we bought individually 100 100 each 100 shares each and that's where the journey began so and uh, yeah. why safaricom like at that age what made you think of the stock market like the stock market you am going to find anything that was uh, maybe easier for i'd say people that age you know most kenyans are never taught about money 
Yes, so okay. Tulijabu kuza ticket za event ya yeah. NSTC yeah. that time it is yeah. called Kaya yeah. in 2018. Yeah. Um Kenyans Kenyans kusumana wao. Mtu anasema nitakulipa hiyo half ingine baadaye. You know nitumie sasa hii tu hiyo ticket sasa hii tukapa kwa gate. Yeah. But um why we like that is the fact that it is a simple Investing is just simply putting your money somewhere and mm. And so you looked at it and look at Safari as a business, mm. it makes sense. Mm. Why? Because you have to look at a business that is growing in sales, mm. M-Pesa is, we are losing M-Pesa every day. Mm. Now I have shares, look at me M-Pesa. Uh, Thank you yeah. for being my good client. That's a sign. You know? Yeah. And we saw that it had good, um, good business, you're making high profits, growing it and every year. Mm. We saw the way they were expanding, you know, when I invest in the cab industry, yeah. uh, is you, Mkopa, Fuliza, eh, Fuliza kakuja, 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 eh, so many projects that they are doing, yeah. and you're seeing that they make sense. Okay, yeah. yeah, the Wi-Fi business, yeah. and then now during COVID, all our money is going to Safariko. Yeah, because yeah. now, come up on a girlfriend, we'll go on Nambaya Lang, sasa, na ya kitale sasa, you're on Zoom call, yeah. I mean, you're on WhatsApp call, you're not made a bundle, so kitaku mtumia pesa penda, and you need M-Pesa, and you're tena. Yeah. Wi-Fi, you're not made a kusoma, yeah. Safariko. So, so this it, it made the, the sense because yeah. the right people, the right business, the right model, yeah. and they're like, you know what? Actually, we didn't even know too much. You're like, let's, yeah. you know, let's go for it. Let's buy Safaricom. Yeah, yeah and, and um, we did very well. And Centum, what drew you to Centum? Like, actually, DJ CK, I really admire him, and um, the, he, his entrepreneurial principles, yeah. misadding in finance and investment, yeah. was he was very very wise. He was yeah. investing in Kenya. Yeah. I has a very good CEO, James Moria, yeah. and they were investing in these properties, yeah. showing the shareholders how they have been able to create wealth over time. Yeah. And they're on YouTube, these videos. Yeah. They discuss, um, they share about how they're able to get the Two, two Rivers project done, yeah. how they're able to do the Vipingo project. Yeah. Like, they're discussing how they've grown and how James Moria came in as the youngest CEO, yeah. grew the company seven times in, yeah. I don't know how many years. And you're like, where they? Yeah. I like these people, I like what they're doing, they're in real estate, they're in, uh, investing in companies like Longhorn, ETC, ETC. So, like, how did your family take it? When, if, come on, maybe, for example, if I wanted to start a business, mm. my mom would be like, Utaizana kweli. You know, like how skeptical sometimes parents are. Maybe with the nature of the business, some of the risks ahead. Like, what was your parents' take? Like, you're putting your money into the stock market. So, one of the kids, did they offer you advice? A thousand percent supportive. Uh-huh. A thousand, not a one million percent. Because yeah. he's actually... I have a father who is in the finance yeah. field. So a lot of membership came from him and yeah. saying, Ah yeah. yeah. Remember when I was in primary he told me you should become a financial analyst. Yeah. And I was like, What's that? I want to become that. Yeah. So um, a lot of support. Um because I even now to make it to make matters worse. Um, when I finished school in university, Lisema, Saki Kufanya Kazi. And and I wouldn't do it. okay, I had a business, yes, yeah. but I'm going to volunteer for free. In a in in a in a slum yeah. school. Yeah. Sasa, you can imagine now that telling your parents, ah, sasa ni mesoma, now I want to go volunteer. Mm. So, but they were supportive, mm. which I really admire my parents for. My the space. Mama is now going to me opportunities to apply. Yeah. Atakamu, you know, as a Kenyan, yeah. atakamu kwa na biashara kubwa kama safari kwa. Yeah. Na tumewa application to apply is you kwe. Yeah, you love. <laughs> ukwe ukwe ka ka manager, ama junior manager, yeah. ama yeah. a graduate intern at yeah. GKPMG or. Yeah. Or uh, my brother works at PwC, yeah. very amazing. Yeah. But I think there's a culture where, especially dads, I feel they're more risk taking. Moms, they're yeah. really protective. They want you to be in a safe job because yeah. when I go back there, you know, business can crash. Yeah. So, but they've been really supportive, yeah. extremely supportive, right. and I thank them for that. So, outside your parents, yeah, yeah. because I looked at the the school you went to, mm. you went to Thika Road Primary, was it right? I love you went to. From that to Kanda Kawa Wendani, I don't know. Yeah, Kau, you went to Kawa Wendani. Mm. You went to then Gilgil Hill. Yeah. Did like some of that financial knowledge? Like this is this is what you're good at. This yeah. is what you can do best. Did you get any of it from the schools? Because Ulifanya IG, IG, IGCSE, right? Yes. L- like was finance part of whatever you did? You did at uh, Juja Senior School. Ah, uh, so I went to Kawa and Rizaliwa Kawa Wendani. Mm. Uh, my family was there. I showed them Huko, mm. Nini. And uh, I went there for two days. Mm. Uh, my brother was in school in Kasamu Mia Takuna Shulepia. He was mm. one year older. Mm. So I went. I mm. he was as your uncle and I cried. I was in the club for those two days. So I went back home. I was that eager to go to school, but then I was in the that. 
So um, I did it for four the um, class eight and oh, going yeah. to Gilo, Gil Gil Hills. Yeah. I learned work ethic and discipline and yeah. under pressure. Yeah. And so when I was in Gilgil, I was my dad an interference analyst. Oh. And when I was in Gilgil, I was yeah. top in fine in math. Yeah. Uh, the entire students, I think yeah. about 300 students. Yeah. Every I was the best in math. Yeah. So I've always been good at math, the longer numbers. I'm where I was in Kwan Shakram baby. Like it could a kilengo, like sometimes they resonate too well with numbers. Yeah. And so when I went to Juja High yeah. School, my dad was advised that you can get exposure there yeah. uh, when you go through the different systems. Yeah. Um, it was just there wasn't too much going on there. Yeah. Primary high school I was still doing business in, yeah. in primary I sold newspapers. Yeah. I so sold newspaper at primary. Yeah. To who? Nikwan was there. Okay. I was a boarding school, my shell quarter. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so what happened is at home my dad was working in a in a, um in an institution where they were giving newspapers each and every day. Uh -huh. So I drew a boy child and I penned football. Mm -hmm. So he'll take the photos, three photos per newspaper, mm -hmm. and had this big collection. Oh. So I never went to a child and I put a photo at Drogba and I come here, Sasa, that's ten dog. And they had oh. business. And going on issue with Zuri, I remember time you have lever, you do not put here. Can you see 20 bob and a pack of card? I'm going to put a lot of bald. I'm going to put a lot for the ladies. I'm going to put a lot of money. Okay, I love this photo for Ronaldo. It's called milk. I'm going to put a lot of money and put a milk and spices. So I learned, uh, I was able to do, to do butter trade and get value. So um, in, in second, it was a pin pops. So I was just learning business. So when I was going to university, I just had that hustle mentality. Where, okay, what can I sell? Because I was enjoying business and I realized business is giving you value. What do you want? Yeah. And then you're rewarding me in return. Oh, nice. And it's a very noble way of doing things. Yeah. Business oh. is you, me giving you value. As long as I'm honest and nini, yeah. it's very blessed because yeah. I'm giving you value. I'm providing value for you. Yeah. Right now, and so Kamasa is, and Pesa is a big blessing to us. Imagine Kamasa Shoko and Pesa going all the way to Pesa. Yeah. You'd use over 10,000 to 1,000. Yeah. But that's how they made it simple for us. Yeah. And so I learned business is value and so when I went to, to uni yeah. and now I read books now I was exposed to finance and finance. investments yeah. and how money works yeah. and so that couple is now the entrepreneur, entrepreneurship skill and hustle mentality it's like a quality with Risana. So you get to USIU uh -huh. so that's where the Chama came in? The Chama to the Manza from around 15 years old to so high the, school. The Chama was way before USIU? Yeah. Yeah. Save before you save for an opportunity it was yeah. like two years before we bought our first shares Oh, nice. And uh, so by that time, when did the Chama grow to all those numbers? Like, how many members do you have right now? Yeah, I can say we're just about 15. 15 members of the Chama? Mm. Still intact? Still intact. Yeah. I, so that now you may want to look at property. To make new shares, to make yeah. some crypto. To yeah. the next to We are trying to look at a bond, yeah. the infrastructure bond, 14%, yeah. no tax. Yeah. Yeah, just growing as a family. So these are these are guys you knew at 15? No, from birth. From birth? Yes. So you started saving in the Chama at 15? When I was 15. No, when when you were 15. Oh, so there are others that are older. Kuliko, yeah. So since you, you were 15 till date, you remember that now you're looking at property. That's and a good we, way to we grow. Are, yes, and yeah. the best way you can grow is with people. Uh -huh. So we are blessed that our family had a group of family friends that meet uh -huh. every month. Uh -huh. So every month, we ah, try to work in a banner, try to work in a... Ezra, yeah. yeah. so we would meet and they're like, hey guys, see to find a kid So we are still intact. Um, very, very amazing people. Yeah. And actually, I'll do the same thing. If you can, uh, create a group of strong friends and then I'll raise your children together. That's one to note. So talk to me about uh, young, young Investors Africa. So when did it come to birth? Repeat. Like when, when did you have the concept of like forming? Oh, forming so what happened the company, yeah. is when I was in university, yeah. um, I've been blessed to understand what I want yeah. and be very aggressive. I'm very ambitious. And so um, in university, I was studying finance. I was reading so many books. I was also um, working for free. I also worked in a factory. It was the time I was carrying wood yeah. in university. And I got a good grade again. Then I got a bow. There's so many experiences I've had yeah. in this short time. Um, I worked in an in a insurance company for free. So I learned all these tips of how business works. So you see, like, 
being in this life insurance institution that's yeah. in the financial market, yeah. I bought some shares yeah. through the market. I have a small business running, selling happy socks, yeah. and I'm still reading about businesses and financing and selling them. I got the yeah. 360 degree view. Yeah. So it's like, can I start a club to teach people what I've learned yeah. in school? That's so why we started the USA Investors Club. Oh. Performed very well. People loved it because you were giving them so much value, bringing guests on board. It's very successful in CSR. I'm very passionate about it in the community. Yeah. And so when COVID happened, it was the best time to invest because markets were down. Yeah. That's yeah, when yeah. you buy. Yeah. And my friend told me, Clarence, yeah. can you teach me everything about investments? Yeah. So I made a course for him. I can charge 500 bob. I can pay the sun. I can pay the I can pay the 1,000. I can pay And I was like, what? You know, that's a way of God telling you, mm. you're giving value. And mm. so it started training people, mm. one, two, evil, evil. Mm. Now we are at 11,000. 11,000 members. People you've trained, uh, we'll be able to help people. You want to buy off your partner, you want to value your business, just anything investments business. Because when you understand the numbers and you understand what makes a successful business go forward, <coughs> how do you value it, how, where does the money go, mm -hmm. that's a core skill. And so, and we're happy and proud. And the goal is just to see our community grow, mm. us to grow together. Mm. And the vision is if you have, let's say, 10,000 young people, and each of them, I keep 1,000 bob, that is um, 10 million per week, for example. Mm. I would say per month, you know, 10 million per month. In a year, that's on 20 million. You can come and buy a building here, you can buy as young people and share <laughs> the profits. I'm going to say, one month, mm. you're 10 million. I'm going to say, you're 1,000 of you, you're 1,000 bob. Mm. That's a million. You buy an Uber, if you're in school, everyone, mm. talk to me, but not to me, but mm. the ladies, they are safe, because mm. I would have an Uber driver when you're in buyer. Yeah. Then at the end of the month, you share profits. Mm. That's how you grow as a team. If I can't afford it by myself, so you can to go up and to invest. Mm. And then you just make sure we have the right management. Oh. Things go well. So, so, like Young Investors Africa, is it, okay, now, do, is it only a training hub, or does it have a, an investment vehicle? How does it operate? Um, it's um, it's it's yeah. a financial education training. Yeah. Um, you need to build a very strong community around it. Yeah. So when because when you're investing, you also need to have niko yeah. kumbushe. why do you need to do this? So accountability, yeah. able to share opportunities in between yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Um, majorly, it is training, yeah. research, analysis. Yeah. You see, you cannot manage your money okay. until you get a license. Yeah. That license now requires some um, you no know, capital requirements. Do you have this license? Uh, do you, um, apart from having a degree, you also have to have like a professional paper. So there's some things you're getting done mm. as a next step. Mm. I cannot manage your money until I get the license, and then the license requires this and this and this. So regulation, you may like a dog, but the vision is for us to become an investment fund mm. and do great things with young people. Mm and build your small capital and see where do you allocate it, how does it grow to the maximum. Yeah. We've also worked with companies and bring companies on board. Now that you can't offer these services, you not bring companies on board. Yeah. So you have a partner like Scope Markets, which is our main partner. So you can access global investments, local investments, you can do Forex. Uh, you can have insurance companies, for example, Absa Life Assurance, yeah. uh, very good partners, they support our CSR and everything. Yeah. So we're able to even negotiate for good rates for our community members. Yeah. Uh, we had ones like Optivan. Yeah. If you come through and investors, you're able to get better rates when you're buying land. So you can be paying every month. Yeah. 10K, 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 3 years, or you 2 years, or 18 months, you own the property, you shall grow in value by times two. Because yeah. our, yeah. but really, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like really nice. So let's talk about you now. Yes. Yeah. Like apart from maybe investment, apart from Young Investors Africa, mm -hmm. where do you get your bucks? My packs. Your box. <laughs> box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Okay, number one, mm. we have a Formula One business. We mm. sell much. Oh, it's called F1 Space. Oh. Now, you can say where, where fashion meets speed. Oh. You know? Mm. Uh, we have that. Yeah. I have also, due to our nature of, of growth, mm. And also posting, we realize that social media is the biggest force. Yeah. So we've gotten some influencing gigs. Yeah. Hey, you know, influencing you know, pesa. <laughs> so much. Videos get bigger. Yeah. The kwa TV, Colgate, Gage. I want to be an influencer because mm -hmm. I don't yeah. wanna hear. Influencers make a lot of they money. They make money and it's uh, not as much hard work. But yeah. you've built an audience yeah. Yeah. and you've built a persona and mm -hmm. character mm -hmm. and charisma. Mm -hmm. Um, I've also been paid at times for mentorship 
sessions yeah. um, with organizations mm -hmm. and seeing. Mm -hmm. I used to be a stammerer mm -hmm. and I still am, but mm -hmm. I don't know people uh, like tell me to be the MC, mm. pay something. Mm. But okay, a, a lot of that I do it for free. Mm. But majorly it's young investors Africa. Mm. But this mentorship, sometimes you, know, you go somewhere, mm. tell you, okay, I want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate you. Mm. It's a big organization of Kampasa Nyingi. Mm. You have to appreciate me. Because <laughs> you have a lot. Mm. But I appreciate that I've been able to earn but majorly it's my business. Mm. And me focusing on that. So, since you're into financial management and investment planning, mm. obviously, mm. Yes. so like looking at the Nairobi Stock Exchange, mm. yeah, you're an investor. Mm. So where, 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 which, like, you look at the stocks right now because I was looking at the Safaricom stock and, uh, and uh, it's kind of, it's been on a downward trajectory. Yes. I think maybe it's because of this Mpesa split, I don't know. Mm -hmm. but, but I suppose it might be because of that. But... As a person who's looking, because you, you, you just said that uh, you, read, you read a lot of Warren Buffett. You know, he's a very conservative, okay, not conservative, but he's a very smart trader. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but he also like, he likes stability. Yes. Above everything, he likes stability. So which, which place do you make in the NSE? Like for a guy, a young investor like you, you're like, this is where I'll put my money. Because there are, there are a lot of young investors out there, and when they're watching, they're like, I'd want to know. Where is, where is it safest? Okay, because there's a lot of risk in the financial markets. Not, there's no place that is maybe safer than the other. But which, which, uh, which portfolios do you look at and say, this is where I'd want to keep my money? If you realize, when this time in the world, where machines make every from every angle, mm. even the Ghanaian president said, mm. too many shocks. Mm. An economy, how it's Put, there's a level of risk that you put in the economy where you're investing a lot of money, you've taken debt. Mm. When shocks start coming, mm. you can only buffer enough. You, ha you can have enough buffers. For example, let's say for you, yeah. let's say you, you, s you have a family, you've saved up to a million, just yeah. for, in case of any emergency. That's yeah. best case scenario. Yeah. COVID comes, into an yeah. Let's say you end up spending 700, you're actually 300. Yeah. Yeah. Then what ha else happens? Inflation comes again. Inflation comes then yeah. that's like you have goods. Doubt me, you Hey, then. So you see, it becomes strenuous. So you're like, eh, now you only have, uh, I'm actually now struggling to even feed my goods, feed fertilizers in my panda. So that's the reason why you can see some stocks are going down. It's because of the environment you've been in. Drought has been worse than COVID, for, in my opinion. Uh, but now at least in Boaz Mekuja. Um, I hope uh, it's the prayers of the deputy president's wife, Zivet's idea, <laughs> say she's paying for rain. <laughs> but it's very important because mm. like, we are an agricultural company. Mm. Last year, mm. this year, coffee went down in production by half because of no rains. No rain. Just lucky that the price doubled in the international markets. Yeah. But that's what has happened. And being in a very tough economy, it has led to such things. Mm. Nonetheless, mm. you investing in the Kenyan stock market is a bet on the new government. Mm. And also, which sectors are set to perform? Yeah. Let me let me just give some. Let me just give tips to mm. start charge. Yeah. But I believe <laughs> Equity and Safaricom are all strong, stable companies expanding yeah. across Africa. Yeah. Safaricom was in Ethiopia. Well, it expanded last yeah. year. Okay, yeah. 80 billion for a license. Okay, yeah. invest an extra 800 billion yeah. with partners. Yeah. Then what happened? Whoa. Whoa. So, so Jana, mm. you see Juzi, you see Kenyatta may say, dear, so some business will continue. Because yeah. even their employees had to be yeah. put back to Kenya. Yeah. So you see, those are the factors. Because last year, I guess they were at 44. Mm. Then, whoa, phew. Now mm. things are supposed to go back up. Yeah. Equity is expanding across Africa, growing their profits, great management. Mm. So like right now, there's Hustler Fund, 50B mm. per year. Mm. They're going to use circles mm. and cooperatives. Where do circles and cooperatives bank? In cooperative bank, yeah, and so even the CEO was given the alembo. This 50B will be administered through you, yeah. So Cop Bank can have an extra opportunity, yeah. For example, I would say, it, looking at how energy is coming about. Okay, that's you, you can't be sure, but it's just look at the energy sector. Look at Kenjan, yeah. How they're coming about. Um, they are aiming to do hydrogen energy. We have 90% renew renewable energy in Kenya. Mm. So in the next five years, just monitor Kenjan. Kenjan. At this interview, the price is 3.3. <laughs> from now, yeah, if, yeah. It's at, if it's at 12, yeah. someone might have made 400%, mm. but 